G'day and welcome back to Duck Solar Gaming and Riverview Farm. That's right, we are back again on Riverview, continuing to do our farming endeavours. Right, so uh, today we're going to take out the Samson and we're going to apply some slurry to the fields. Right, so let's get in and get that done now. Um, we've finished uh, the stone picking on the smaller field, which we started in the last episode. Um, and of course we realized that we needed to cultivate the field before we did the, the stone picking um so we've cultivated that field then we've picked the stones up we've currently got the cultivator running on the other field on the other side of the, the canal or the river i should say and we're going to send the stone picker over there as well but we're going to get started with um with the slurry applicator so uh that's the first thing the sugar beet harvest is still underway um, and we ran into a slight problem with that in the fact that while the first trip we managed to get the, uh, the Scania up the hill, second trip, no, nah, didn't happen. So, um, we traded that in and we parallel traded to a, uh, Kenworth and, um, we've, uh, we've now got that running instead. So, um, which is okay, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. All right, what we need to do in the interim is just get this thing started. And uh, there's no time like present, basically. Uh, I need to go B, there we go. And away we go. Now we've got to bring the, uh, the slurry container down as well, the transport container. We'll bring that down with Big Blue when we need it. Uh, but for now, we can just uh, get started applying the slurry. Alright, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, what is the... Panther's on 75%, so we'll be off to offload him shortly. As you can see, there's the... Uh, don't pick us in the middle of the field, we'll have to move him out of the way in a minute. Right there for the moment. Spread all the slurry around. It might almost be worth me buying the, um, the other applicator as well um, at some point. If we can do wider application of it for the bigger fields. And then we have this one for the smaller fields. Having the two different applicator sizes won't necessarily hurt us. Because um, we do have a combination of field sizes. So that would make sense, I guess. So we'll get all this uh, this done, then we'll have to roll it in, and then we're ready for seeding, basically. One, row, one header row done. So early morning, 10 to 7, game day wise, and uh, like the colours of the morning today, greens are sort of really popping out without direct sunlight. We'll do a couple of header rows and then we'll... Um, revert to doing up down rows all right so he's ready to uh with no space at the wool there's i've moved all the wool Ah, uh, go and have a look and see what's going on there as well. <clears throat> we'll finish this uh, this round here, and then we'll go over and we'll offload the sugar beet harvester because we want to get that continue going, and then we'll come back. In your uh, 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 uh. Momentum took me around there too much. Oh. 
I I raised the uh, the applicator as we came around that corner as I started losing control, and the stream deck yet again is not being very responsive today. It comes and goes. Sometimes it'll respond quite well, and other days it won't. So, all right. Anyway, we're going to leave that there. I'm going to head over to uh, this guy. You know, we're not going to go to the truck. Here you go. Here's the truck. This is the Kenworth we bought. Um, and the grave we're going to offload him. We're probably halfway, about halfway through with our harvest now, um, which is good. We'll offload him and then we'll go and offload him too. Uh, I don't know if the sugar bin's going to have. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay, no, I forgot that much room left in. Oh, okay, well done. Um, uh, in the, I'll spit down a minute, the factory, the sugar factory. I don't know if it's got enough. Yeah, so I won't take another full load. So we'll, we'll take this to the farm the next load. The load we've got now, um, that will go. So let's, let's take this in. And then we'll come back and the lows from there on in are going to go to uh we're going to go to the farm is even he's struggling here with and that's not even a full load so a bit of a rise that one Sorry if you heard that banging, that's one of my children that walk around like a horde of elephants. Be on the stairs. <clears throat> All good. The horde of elephants going back up the stairs. Right. On the open road. I keep the throttle back a little bit because this will accelerate very, very quickly really take off we'll get 163 not a problem at all you don't need to be doing that speed around through here more than likely lead to another crash and we can't have Now that should basically almost fill this up. I think we'll have a little bit left over in the trailer once we're finished. Uh, well, yeah. So we'll have uh, 4,000 litres left in the trailer. That's fine. Which means with that, and then two loads from the harvester, that will be a full load for this trailer. In cab on the way back. Colors look so rich, don't they? With the relight and then the uh, shaded uh, windscreen. Too close to the edge and pop over into the lake. Okay. Now if we go to unload. So I'm going to press my Elgato Stream Deck button now. Oh, and that, that time will work straight away. Uh, 
explode. I'm going to check out what's going on with these sheep. Let's go and have a look at the sheep. So I'm going to go to the farm. Um, where are we? Right. Sheep pen number one. No, you're not full of wool. Sheep pen number two. You are full of wool. Hmm. Um, that's a bit of a turn up for the books. I wasn't expecting that. All right. Um, we don't have. What I'm going to do, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push it out of the way. All right. Oops. I'll just push it out into the laneway there and then it'll start producing wool again. All right. uh, I'll quickly run over the hill here, if man jump, All right. and we'll check to see how these guys are going. Uh, nowhere near as much wool, but they've got nowhere near as many sheep in these pens either. I've got some. Uh, are we going for feed with these guys? They're halfway, so we're going to need to get some food there. All right, that's okay. We'll keep him going. There's our cold waiter. He has just finished. That was perfect timing, wasn't it? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull him in here out of the way. Excellent. So we're going to leave him there. Um, move this guy out of the way as well. Come on. Extreme deck. All right. We're going to send him over the other side of the river and we'll get him started. And then as soon as we finish over here, we can get over the other side and continue on with our um, work with getting our slurry put down. Fifty percent. So this, I reckon, we'll be have to empty this sometime through this field, then straight through the hedges. I'm going to remove those edges there. I think. Uh, so yeah, we'll get that done anyway. Um, Come on. Right. That key works much better. Right. Come down through to here. Yeah. Great job. Start there. Three headlands. I'll do four headlands. 5% over the right. That's fine. And generate. That. Okay. And first waypoint and start. You're okay, you're okay. I'm gonna clear these courses out. That you yeah, have your course cleared out. Whoops. I think oh, that was the other one I wanted. Right. Cool. Right. And onwards and upwards. Do the course. That and we're good. Alright, so what have we used? We used about 10,000 litres of slurry so far. So, bring the, uh, the tank down shortly. Too tight in the turn again. So, as we've said previously, we haven't got the pumps and hoses pack, right? And I know that there's a few of the guys have have commented on uh, some of the videos in relation to 
the pumps and hoses pack and also the uh, platinum pack and all that sort of stuff already and, and thanks to those that have uh, offered your th thoughts suggestions and input as well um so I, I think the pack itself would work well on this farm and this series um if i did it um but it wouldn't really work very well on any other series let's, i mean let's face it Elm Creek, we haven't really got many smaller fields, certainly anymore. We've we've merged most of the smaller fields into the bigger fields. Uh, um, Fort Belleron, pretty much the same. We haven't got many small ones. There's a couple of fields that probably would work quite, quite okay with. Um, but the, the majority of it wouldn't be any real use. Um, and Southern Cross, no, just forget about it. <laughs> there's... there's Virtually no fields. Oh, probably probably the three fields closest to the farm. Um, that would be about it. So, uh, may, maybe I'm being a little bit disingenuous. Maybe there's a couple of extras as well. But nonetheless, um, we we wouldn't really utilise it there either, I don't think. So, yeah. And unfortunately, it's a bit of a waste. But then again, see, I, I don't use Maze Plus. I don't have any interest in doing Maze Plus either. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's some of those, those things I just have no interest in doing, and I, I don't know whether as many of you that are the same way as me in that regard, um, Maze Plus offers no interest in, to me at all. The extra, uh, what do they call it, the part of the, uh, thing that Giants released, so all the extra stuff for the ground and stuff like that, that doesn't interest me either, um. I just want to have a well a basic simulation of, of doing the farming and just forming that now while it may sound a little bit hypocritical in the way while i've said that um it needs to be more of a simulator than an arcade game i don't mean it has to be a simulator that um you have to do everything down to the knees bees exactly the same as what a farm would do and that's that's the joy of having a, a game you can you can choose what elements of it you want to actually use and that's what I mean with, with the soil and all that sort of stuff. Uh, if you want to do that and you wish to do that, well, that's fine. Giants are put in the game. You can do that. If you don't, then you have the option not to. The, the thing I get all beat up about with Giants and their simulator is the fact that they just can't bring in new items. They bring in fluff pieces and, and stuff like that. And I've, I've noticed there's a big conversation piece on... Excuse me. Oh, sorry, I had to sneeze. A big conversation piece on um, the Giants forum in relation to the Platinum Pack and the Forestry. And there's a, there's a few on there that have said, oh, we've got to have the Forestry, blah, blah, blah. And there's quite a few that have said, that, no, it's a waste, they're not going to use it. It just, it really does make me wonder how many people are going to actually buy the Platinum Pack um, and how many people are actually going to use it. Because, what did they say? There was uh, 50 items or something thereabouts new equipment um a couple of the guys have gone through and listed everything out of it 36 items have been announced already that we know about um and all but two of them basically are directly to do with logging there's there's a truck and a truck and color tracks or whatever that can be utilized for normal farming but everything's forestry based and i just don't know and what um there's been some some conversation pieces about it not being farming and whatever else um and then someone come back up and said, oh, it's, it's agriculture. Um, it is part of farming. Um, and that's why I came back and said, well, that's why it's called farming simulator, not agriculture simulator. And look, I mean, he's, he's essentially right in that regard. It is called farming simulator. And while forestry is technically a form of farming, it's, it's forestry. It's not farming. It's forestry. Um, so, yeah, I, I tend to agree with that, that train of thought, that it's not farming, it, it's forestry work. Um, and the production of it is, is forestry production. The same as farming, based upon farming. And I don't know why this thing's getting fried up so easily, especially now it's virtually empty. Um, yeah, the farming is based upon farming crops and then producing products from those crops. That's exactly what we're doing. So, but anyway... And, and that, that sort of leads into, I mean, obviously modders can do what they like with it. You've got the, the big modding scene in, 
FS22 that's done all the mining and the construction type work. Um, there's there's been a lot of that I've seen. Um, uh, uh, again, yet yeah, why they may be interesting in doing because there's not anything else in the market to do that. The modders have made it made it able to do that, and and kudos to them for doing so. But next thing you know, if giants start bringing out mining and quarrying and all that sort of stuff, they'd be like, yeah, right, are you, are you really losing the pot, giants? Um, but don't be surprised if in FS24 or 23 or whatever the hell it's going to be, you get mining, don't be surprised. Besides which, I mean, they like to steal everyone else's ideas and their mods and that, try and incorporate them and incorporate them in a half-assed way. I mean, look at seasonal growth. Did I say any more? Probably not. Right. Uh, stop eating. I don't know why it's doing that. It's one of the biggest and heaviest tractors we've got. Well, it is the biggest and heaviest tractor we've got. And it's just sliding around um, like a ballerina. Anyway. Hmm. Right, I don't know if we're going to have enough to finish all this off. We definitely won't the way I'm applying it early. Um... A little bit extra we have to fill up the tanks with and use. It wants to get caught again. See, look, I, I'd even take my foot off the accelerator. I was slowing down well before I hit the peak of the curve. It still wants to go and wrestle me. Bloody Samson trailer. I think this is a default Giants one. Not a Stevie one or something. So I might have to um, go to a different uh, applicator trailer. Right, so we're doing 11 Ks, going into a turn, and it still wants to throw me. It's still sliding. There we go. It's still sliding. There's no reason for it. <sighs> this is why people are saying that giants need to fix uh, things like their physics for bales and everything else well maybe you should fix some of your physics for tractors and trailers and stuff as soon as i start turning i'm, I'm losing i'm just sliding trailer is actually what's turning me not not the, the tractor itself wait correct there we go it snaps correct once i'm straight let me know if you've had the same problem with these uh these Samson trailers. They definitely can't can't turn full lock. Won't let me go full lock. As soon as I try to go full lock, it'll really spear me in. And there you go. I tried to spear me in there as I was turning out of the turn. All that time through there, I'm basically just sliding, not turning. At the behest of what the transport liquid transport trailer is telling me to do. Wanting me to you lock hard and then it just spins me again. Anti lock, and I'm just not pulling out, I'm just sliding. Oh well, people wonder why I don't do slurry work. Right, hard lock, there we go. Hits the slide. Oh, I came out of it earlier that time. Alright. So we did just have enough. A thousand litres to spare. Alright. Let's go over and um, get prepared to do the other field. And we're going to go off and on offload our offload both the stone picker because it's full and also our beet harvester probably do the beet harvester first because that can continue on and the stone picker we've got to bring back um well almost took it to the river but it's just not letting me it's just sliding me I'm going to check to see what trailer this is. I'm going to piss it off, probably. Right, 
Let's have a look at that now because it's really starting to irritate me. Right at the end of the episode, so that's okay. Uh, no, I want to go here. It is the Stevie one. Okay. Um, right, let's have a look and see. I might have to change that out. We'll probably do that off camera. Uh, where are we? Where's my slurry? That's the one we've got. That one there. We might have to just bump back to the default and see if that gives us the same problem. Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't have any problems with that, but I noticed previously. Um, maybe that's what I look at doing. Maybe we'll go the Kuwaiko and the uh, Battle Track. Anyway, no matter. All right, we'll come back to that a little bit later. Uh, you I've got to deal with, and you I've got to deal with. So get the truck. Get the truck first. Then we'll fill up. Okay, we'll take him back as well, don't we? So, oh, look, we're almost finished the sugar beets. That's good. So we'll actually take this load to the farm. Uh, we'll get both done. We'll get this load to the farm. And we'll also get um, stone figures. We should have enough time to do both of those. Yeah, definitely using the panther was a better option than uh, the other river thing we had. Quite an effective harvest after all. didn't quite fill up the pool. Alright, off we go. Jumping cab for the trip back to the farm. Okay. I've just realised my sound is probably a bit low, but that's okay. Um, I can fix the game sound up in editing, so hopefully you won't notice that too much. Um, but I will have to fix that for the next episode, so I keep forgetting. Because basically when I'm not recording, um, I have to turn it down a bit because it's a bit too loud. Um, and I just didn't bring it up today when I recorded. So, But generally, I don't think you guys have noticed when I've done that recently because the fact I do catch it in, in editing and level the, uh, the sound out. It's only if it's turned off the problem because then there's no sound at all. The alleyway. Right. Then, so after this episode, we'll probably transition to the next day, which is going to be the first day of August. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to have any crops ready. Probably will have one or two fields ready to go. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we'll continue on with the seeding of these two fields and we'll need to prep the sugar beet field again. Uh, I'm going to make that a sugar beet field again. Just so we have a bit of constant uh, flow of beets for the sugars. For the sugars. For the sugar mill. Um, so that's, that's what we're going to do there. That'll be okay. Alright, there we go. So we're going to unload him. I'm going to go back and grab the stone picker now. Uh, right, so we're going to turn him off. Hold him up. 
So just stuck nicely over here just near the river. And just cross over and get straight up to the farm and dump this into the lime machine. So yes, the things are uh, continuing to, to grow and to move along as, as we've got the sun's really starting to come out now, so colours are a bit more faded, a bit more yellowy now. They're not as bright and green and lush as what they were before. The Relight mod does a fantastic job of lighting up. I'm very happy that we've uh, come across that. Don't forget, also, um, I do have my mod list, which has to be updated, fair to say, um, on Discord. So if you want to know the mods I'm using and where I get them from, then uh, that's where you can check that out. I haven't yet compiled it to a per series list, so to sort of say, well, so it's being used on this series, blah, 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 blah. Um, I will do that at some point, um, just not immediately because it's going to take some time to go through and do that. Um, and I haven't been back to, to sort of look at that lately, but I will endeavour to do so. Uh, I do need to update a couple of new mods into the list as well. Um, and I hadn't updated that since before we went on holiday, so uh, we'll look at updating that this week and then getting that up, up to date. So this week is uh, basically a week and a half, two weeks before you see this video. <laughs> so it should be well really updated by then, I hope. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did enjoy it, then make sure you press that like button. If you didn't press the like button, that is okay. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well, so you're made aware of when new videos are available on the channel, just like this. Don't forget, you can also support the channel financially, if you so wish, via YouTube membership, Patreon, or by Super Chat. Uh, details of all those are down below in the description or the super chat bottom at the bottom of this video somewhere don't ask me where because i don't know anyway uh that's it from me so take care of yourselves and your loved ones and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at dark solar gaming and riverview um see you later bye